Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams are noted for their pass offenses, and rightfully so. They're among the best in the country, and they put up huge numbers. But if you watch these clubs carefully, you'll see that they pass the lead and run to win. Maybe a little bit more balanced than people realize, and sometimes you can't get caught up always looking for the pass, because that's exactly when you'll get burned by the run. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others will be putting the helmet on for the final time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. This is caught the defense. Amazing. Lewis picks up seven yards with that catch. Around the 32-yard line. Goolsby's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but you don't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. The play of this defensive end. This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Van is back deep to return. And he's tackled. So here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for. Our player to watch this game. Fisher's vision, his patience built behind center, really makes him a complete player. In fact, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out in the world and playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. And they've got the dime package in there. Try and deal with this five receiver. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Rose in a cover. It just picked off. He's at the corner. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. It's first and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. getting out to that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled and on the pressure and he fumbles the football what was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it it was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. 
Tackle made at the 32 yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose. That time they had to make coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. In the shotgun and five wide out. Now he tries to buy some time. Dives forward. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From their own 43-yard line. It's first down. The defense has got some of the best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime. They counter that five wide receiver set. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Oh, he six, six yards. yards. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and four. four. Six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. And the 45-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. And for long, he's just recording his 10th sack of the year. What a season this kid's had. Boy, it takes a really special player to be able to consistently perform at such a high level week in and week out been a great season for this guy. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 45. And this play is number eight on the drive. Catches it, and that's all. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Logan, thank you, return it. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We were talking about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinator, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they could control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Bounds at the 45. That'll be the 
bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he throws it away. Atkins is the putter. Oh, excellent putt. Little too much leg into that putt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses. So far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Gets it out to his receiver. Oh, Tackle at the 28. Ben in the tackle at the 28 yard line. line. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at the 43. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Set. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Harris picks up around five yards with that catch. That makes it second and six. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. Right down. Around the 27 yard line. Swan makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. First, First down. down. From the 27 yard line. First down. Five wide. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Very solid game through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. We've played one. This one's scoreless. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. Game of four yards. That makes it first and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes at about the nine-yard line. That's a deal. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the nine-yard line. Now spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide out. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra points. A nice nine play, 79 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys on the front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. What a collision! 
I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, he still have such a close game despite how well they play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He laterals. Makes it out to him up to 33. He gets hit out of the arrow. 48-yard line. They'll get him in the backfield. Seems like every game, this guy's in the offense's backfield. Bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 45. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Picks up the fumble. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, big play. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Phillips has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there from this defense. The way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. Especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Just throws this one away. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Herbie went to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We still don't know the severity, but the bad news is he hasn't reappeared. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. Man, fields it at the 26. He's, he's taken down. down. The six yard line. Fisher's play so far, Kirk, in the first half. I don't think we're surprised, but he's been very, very impressive. He's been very impressive. I think he's kind of in that zone. And, you know, whether you're watching a basketball game and a shooter gets in a zone, or you're a baseball player, and kind of one of those hitters that's just in a zone, where the ball looks like it's a balloon coming in. But, you know, for a cornerback, when you get in the zone, it means you're just not thinking. Things are happening naturally. You don't have to sit there and worry about it. You play with a tremendous amount of confidence. And I think that's what we're seeing from him right now. I think he just has a lot of confidence in himself and his teammates and what they're trying to do and now the offense. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they get the same thing. These guys can When you stand back there and take hits like that, you're definitely going to feel it the next day. Now line up 
with five wide receivers. And running down at the 45 yard line. He's got the corner. Logan takes it to 12. He just got drilled. They're ready to begin another drive. seems to be forcing things a bit. And I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. First and 10, all on the 36. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's hit immediately. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's hit and taken down. Nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. And they got him. I think the linebacker here did such a good job of disguising his blitz. As a linebacker in college football, one of your biggest responsibilities is being able to get to the quarterback. And that time, he timed it up perfectly, was able to get through the offensive line and put the pressure on the quarterback. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 12-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. He scrambled. It's on the ground. Scoops up to this ball. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Under pressure. Strike to his receiver. No good. Poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, they could have gone for a big play. Kicks away, and it's once the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's under pressure. Clock with room to work. And he's tackled. 
the 31 yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. They're about four yards away here on second down. third down the defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down they call on the kicker for a long field goal Up and it's good. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 17 3. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's, it's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense that can really stretch to the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me. You're not going to throw it deep. And all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tackle. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, wait don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Quick pass, intercepted. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The ball is loose. One of the wide receivers picks up the fumble. He tackles him for a loss. <laughs> From 
on their own 20 yard line. It's first down. In the shotgun and five wide out. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up to the side. See, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback. They've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's taken down at about the 33 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 33 yard line. First down. He lets it fly. Drop down at the 29 yard line. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. They come out in a five wide set. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle at about the 11. tries to buy some time they bring the quarterback down he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open From the 13-yard line, second down. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the goal. Five wide receivers. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it is good. Phillips has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's fielded at the two. Tries to get around the corner, and he's taken down at the 31. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. across the middle to his tight end. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Fires across the He's tackled around the 48-yard line.
heads up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Pass is caught, the defense lays it out. That brings them second to the five. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set. He comes in with his nine package. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. Gaining eight on the play. First down. Quick pass. They'll drop him for a loss. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. Fisher gains about six yards on the scramble. That'll bring up third and four. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. But I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble. It showed right there on that play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes the catch and has a first down. Smith makes the tackle at the 25-yard line. First down. Throws it to the outside. He's in bounds to make a nice catch. And for Van, he makes it 100 yards worth of catches. No, Brad, this guy Brad continues to make plays. Down. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I would put a corner on him down low underneath and I'd put a safety over top of him, put two defenders on him to try to slow him down because right now, one-on-one -on -one coverage, he is destroying. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he's flushed and they got an absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 11-yard line, Second down. He scrambled. Decides to take it in, and he's got space. Slides down. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. That makes it third and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up. And they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Tackle at the 13-yard line. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. But I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually walk out in your favor. Fires out to the wide. They'll bring him down at the 34. First and down. Oh, 
Gets it, he's in space. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's got it. He's room to run. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 42. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's hit before he could go anywhere. to the 22. Down, down. They need to get it to the 22. Check on the six, check on the six. And he is drowned. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Gets out to about the 14 yard line. That makes it first and 10. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. It'll work the left side. He fights forward to about the 13. That makes it second and 10. This is the 15th play of the current drive. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. Oh, 
He just rung up his 25th touchdown pass. He's the spark that makes this attack go. He does everything you ask for the quarterback and then some. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Gators rolled into the game in the top 15, but believing that this is a top 10 football team. And for Florida, they have a chance to win eight games if they can take care of business today. Murray's an explosive play waiting to happen. And already he has more than 150 yards through the air. Every score has had an answer. All locked up at 21. Our game 23 to 10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. We really thought this defense was going to keep him in the ballgame. That hasn't been the case today. We're coming into this game, I never thought I would say this, but they're losing this game because of their defense, which was supposed to be a strength today. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make it stop. There's a strike complete. He's down. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Second down and six. Ball on their own 23. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Scrambling around. He's level at the 27-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Of 15 yards. First down. From their own 36 yard line. First down. Quick throw. Brought down. Around the 43 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven, seven yards. yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up second, second and three. three. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. in trouble and they got him the defense calls a timeout and they'll look to convert here on another third down offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense they're anticipating pass here he gets sacked on the play the defense calls a timeout and now they've only got one remaining and he can't escape again well, that's just a great job of getting in there again And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. You know, sometimes self scouting is the best thing you can do, and I don't think they did a very good job of it. It's another example of no matter how good you are, or no matter how good you've been in the past, you have to continue to evolve as an offense. And this offensive coordinator might look at this game plan and say, you know what, I can learn from this, and we can be better down the road. Scoops it up. Tackle around the 20-yard line. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Calls a timeout. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 18. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. They bring him down. 
And we talked all week with these coaches, and even from yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they're going to get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Say great job by the kicker, but Brad, I'm with you. You gotta go back, I think, to the drive. Just an impressive performance by the quarterback to lead them down to the game-winning field goal. That was fun. He sends this one deep. They line up to kick this one away. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. And for Toff, he's been making his presence felt. Is he in the offensive huddle? Does he know the snap count? I mean, the thing that's really impressing me the most is his ability to consistently get a great jump at the snap of the ball. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's unique is the offense seems to be spending so much time with him that it's freeing up the other defenders to be able to come in and also help him out in making plays. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. He throws left. Jackson is the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run right there. That's a big game to keep this team going. Stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. <laughs> well, the defense was all over the ball in the air. They come away with a dagger of an interception. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And the ball game's over, and our final score. 